I think we're live. Hey, what's going on, Applause Boot Camp? Uh, Mike Sneed coming to you. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. I know y'all tired of me saying this, but this is true. This is going to be a short one. Uh, this is going to be a short video today. Uh, uh, I, today, I, I, I've been a pretty busy day. Um, uh, Teachable is working through some stuff, so you all trying to get back into your courses. Uh, Teachable is working through some stuff. You might want to reach out to them, see what's going on. If you if you still having problems trying to get in and view some stuff, so they're supposed to be making some changes. Hopefully they have it all taken care of in the next day or so. Uh, but I have no control of Teachable how they let you in to and, and view some stuff. So they must have been doing something with their platform and look like they get they're getting it fixed. Um, like I say, uh, they should get it together. I'll try back again tomorrow see if anything I, I can do on my end. But uh, some people told me they their stuff has cleared up. So evidently they are fixing some stuff for those people who are trying to get in. Um, I sent new links out to everybody. Uh, so if you uh, if you hadn't clicked on the new link, you need to go to the new link. Also, on 11-13, um, next month, uh, we'll be having our ice cream parlor boot camp. It'll be on um, November the 13th. Um, this boot camp, not only are we going to be doing the ice cream, but we're going to be doing kettle corn. So kettle corn will be included. Uh, so uh, if you hadn't already, there's a link in the description. Uh, you can actually buy the, uh, buy the online course. With the online course, it comes with the actual um, ice cream parlor boot camp. And if you just want to come to the hands-on, the hands-on is 250 You can come to the hands-on. Or if you want to go to, uh, you want to get the online, the online um, will include the actual uh, uh, the plans for the 8x20 shipping container. Um, you don't get that uh, unless you buy the online, you buy the complete package. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, like I said, our class, our next ice cream parlor boot camp would be 11, 13, 23. Also, uh, I want to let you all know, um, I have another YouTube channel that will be coming up. That's why you might see me right now kind of oiled up. I guess. Uh, I've been uh, out uh, doing some actual uh, repairs on the truck. Uh, on the channel truck this past weekend, I took the actual 200-mile trip. You will see that video la later tonight. Um, it should be uh, premiering later tonight on the channel where I actually took it out. But I'm actually going to be doing another YouTube channel. And that YouTube channel will be strictly uh, about uh, about that truck and me doing restos to it. Uh, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be going around. Uh, I'm going to start off here in North Carolina. I'm going to do the actual tra do trails. So I'm going to actually do repairs and upgrade to the truck, take it out and go run some trails. And uh, just, just, this is my hobby. So I got to make some money doing my hobby. So you will see me actually making repairs and stuff to the truck, going out, um, doing trails and all that stuff. And just, just uh, enjoying, enjoying it, having fun. Uh, so if you would like to follow that, I don't have a name yet, but uh, um, I will have that coming out. Um, in the next couple of weeks where uh, uh, you can be able to follow that and just follow me as I just go around and, and go hit these trails and maybe get out to, uh, I would like to get out to Moab or either the Rubicon and all that stuff. So just, just be able to follow me as I go out and just start doing some overlanding and whatnot on the truck. And like I said, maybe one day I might get on to Ultimate Adventure or Ultimate Overland. So um, I'm going to be actually doing that. You'll be able to follow that on the YouTube channel. All right, so now we're going to get ready to get right into this, uh, into the topic today. Um, and I, 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 the last couple, two minutes ago, I started to change the topic, but I just said, no, nah, I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it ride because of uh, conversations and stuff that I've had in the last, in the last hour. I've thought about changing the subject, but uh, it topic, but it still plays into this. Um, how are you, how are you going to fight inflation? Um, uh, you no, know, I see people looking right now. You got, I think, McDonald's, uh, you know, someplace over in uh, fast food workers over in California, someplace they can, they, they uh, some law came into place, they're getting $20 an hour now. I see uh, Waffle House people are now fighting, they want $25 an hour. Um, and um, I just wonder how, how what's, what's your plan because what happens. Um, when they start paying people this amount of money, um, the owners and the people 
uh, the, the owners, I just say the owners, they're not going to cut their pay. You, you, if you think the owners are going to say, oh, um, I'm, I'm used to getting a hundred, uh, just, just simple math. I'm used to getting a hundred thousand dollars a year off of this business. My workers now won't, uh, uh, they, they now won't, I, I've been, you know, they, they want me to give them 20,000 of my money now. They want me to make 80,000 and, and disperse 20,000 out. Um, the owners are not going to take no pay and cut. All they're going to do is raise their prices. And when they raise their prices, Everybody gonna raise their prices across the board. Just like now, you know, um, all these people, uh, all this uh, money got put out into the into the actual uh, economy. You know, a lot of the wages have gone up. But look at the prices of everything. Price of housing has gone up. Uh, the price of gas has gone up. Everything goes up to to keep everybody where they're at. But now you got you got a serious problems getting ready to happen because what they're doing now. They're gonna squeeze out the middle class. Um, so you, you, they, they're now gonna you're gonna have two people now. Middle class is, is pretty much is gone, but now they're really getting ready to get rid of the middle class. So what they're doing, they're squeeze, they're, they're bringing the floor up. So you know, it used to be you had the bottom where the, the poor people, you had the bottom where the poor was, you had the middle, then you had the, uh, the upper end. But what they're doing now, right here where it used to be the middle. They're bringing the floor up. They, they they're not moving the middle class up. They're not giving you no more pay to get you up past uh, the middle class. They're bringing the bottom up to where you're at, and they're bringing they're making the prices uh they're making the prices higher and squeezing it down on top of them. So now you know you might make twenty dollars an hour, but you're not gonna be able to afford nowhere to live because the the uh, the rent right here in Selma, a one bedroom eighteen hundred dollars now. Uh, so where you where you gonna go rent? And then on top of that, they want you to have what three times the, the uh, uh, monthly rent or something. You got to earn at least three times the monthly rent per month. And uh, the people say they can't afford it. They don't have, have nowhere to stay. They getting pushed out. And um, what's going to be what's going to be your plan to to, to 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 fight off this inflation that's coming? Um, I thought I, I've given you all suggestions, and I've I've given you all my my blueprint of how I was able to get out of it, but it's, it's evident that, that people don't like that. <laughs> it ain't cool enough. I don't know what it is. Um, I was talking to someone earlier today, and I, I was uh, I, I was asking, you know, I, 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 I can't figure out why is it that nobody wants to do this. This morning, I had to do a ride along uh, for a company. I had to go out and just just trail behind uh, uh, an installer. Somebody would just install appliances. They don't do any repairs. All they do, they install microwaves, dishwashers, um, gas ranges, and they'll do a wall of them here and there. They're getting paid $125 to $200 per install, and they're doing anywhere between four, four to seven installs a day. And this person, uh, haven't been in the United States less than uh, he's been in the United States less than three years, um, and. And here he is making five hundred to over a thousand dollars a day, just going doing a simple microwave dishwasher install. Uh, you know, <laughs> and that's all he's doing. Take him fifteen minutes to do it. You know, fifteen thirty minutes to do it. That's all. That's all he's doing. Now on top of that, he 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 don't became a firefighter, but now he 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 does it. Uh, uh he does it around his firefighting skin. So, uh, but he's not a full time firefighter. He he fight. Uh, he, he, he's like, he goes in part time to, to relieve people. Uh, so he gets medical and all that stuff and, he, <laughs> and he's working towards his retirement. And he, he, he's doing his installs and living a great life. And uh, why is it, as, as well, I'm speaking right now to African American men, why is it we don't want this? Why do, why is it that we get so, get so caught up and, and, and so, um, want to do all this stuff? Uh, this stock option crap. We want to do. We want to do that mess. We want to be life coaches. Why is it that we want to do this? We want to be YouTubers and TikTok mess. Why we? Why why not build a, a a business that that provides real goods and services to people where you can actually make real money? Why we don't want to do it? Why why is it that we're so caught up into this lie? <laughs> why I I I I, I just don't understand. 
Why is it we're so caught up into this lie uh, of we're going to make some money quick and easy? It's not. It don't work like that. All, I, 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 I know one thing. I'd be so glad of. I'd be so glad when this uh, uh, this YouTube core stuff goes away. I, I honestly, and I'm somebody who sells courses and stuff like. That. I'd be glad when this mess goes away. I'll be honest because what it's done. It, 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 it's the new selling drugs to our people, um, this, this selling poor stuff. It, it's the new selling drugs. Because people are saying, you know, they're saying the same thing people said back in the days about selling drugs. You know, uh, if I don't sell the drugs, they're going to buy drugs anyway. Well, I might as well sell. They know they ain't selling you nothing. They just signing you up on these loans and taking money off of it. And they don't give you nothing to pay, pay it away, pay it back with. Um, I was explaining to somebody earlier today. I was like, I don't have no problem because they charge the people hundred thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars for these for these courses to, to, to teach you to sell a course. You know their their course right now is to teach you to sell a course. And, and what I mean by sell a course, not to teach you how to make to do anything, but to teach you how to have a a, a, a sales funnel to bring people in to get them approved for some type of loan, and 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 you take you know they, they get. If, you know, they get approved for a loan. You take twenty thousand dollars off, and, and, and you go and you teach them how to go get some, how to go find somebody else to sign up for twenty thousand dollars. But nobody's never learning anything or finding the skill set to be able to pay this money back. If they stuck with a bag and they don't care. They say, okay, uh, they got twenty thousand dollars. They got to pay back. They'll figure something out. <laughs> you know, honestly, that's what they're saying. Hey, the reason why uh, I want to—they they're not doing anything, and they can't. They're not saying stand true to your body is because um, you're not hurting them enough. You know, I was telling them, no, I kind of say, if I went out and I bought, say I, I went out and I bought a, a appliance, I, I went out and bought a franchise for appliance repair franchise. And um, and that appliance repair franchise cost me $100,000. Um, I got a, I got a, something to make my $100,000 back and make me money. Uh, so, uh, so one of the discussion was, uh, uh, you don't think sales? Uh, do you think uh, sales is a skill set? Yeah, it's a skill set, and I got something to sell and market. You no, know, do you think marketing is a skill set? Yes, it's a it's a skill set. When I when I got our appliance repair business, I got to know sales and marketing. And my sales and marketing is not the, the teach, not just to get money off of people and don't give them nothing in return. My sales and marketing is I got to sell and market to people who need their appliance repair. I want them to know that I'm the best person for the job. And then if they give me the opportunity to come out there, um, I'm going to go out there and repair their broken appliance. We, it's an even exchange. They got broken appliance, and I'm telling them I'm the best person for it. And the person who's teaching me sales and marketing is telling me how I can get out in front of that customer. And then from there, that customer gives me the money. I repair their appliance, and, and everybody's happy. They're happy to exchange the money. To get my to get their appliance repaired, I'm happy to go fix their, their appliance to get their appliance repaired. Same thing, I'm happy to pay the person who uh, sold me the franchise and sold me the business plan on how to repair appliances because now I'm making a hundred thousand dollars a year or more off of the information he, he he's giving me uh, versus the mess that we're doing where we're just saying uh, get twenty thousand dollars and then for twenty thousand dollars I'm going to show you how you can bring people in. It's multi-level marketing. All again, I'm not sure you have to bring people in. You can hit them in the head for twenty. Then they better go hit them in the head. Find them somebody hitting the head for twenty. And everybody now, if you, we're tying all these people down these loans, and then or uh, you you give me you get I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna get you a, uh, sign you up on a hundred thousand dollar loan. From that hundred thousand dollar loan, I'm gonna uh, run it through my uh, run it through my credit card processor like you bought something from me for a hundred thousand dollars. So when I get the hundred thousand dollars, I'm gonna give you eighty thousand dollars back. I'm gonna keep twenty, and, and you go do what you gotta do for eighty thousand. They ain't gonna take a broke person, don't know anything, give them eighty thousand dollars. They don't know how to run no business and get no money back out of it. They gonna go do what you see. You gonna see them doing what they doing, going out here buying these cars and all this crazy mess. And next thing you know, two years down the road, they broke, and they ain't got no way to pay the money back, and uh, and they hurt. You no, know? so that's that's all this stuff is doing. I'll be glad when it's over with. So we can get back to real business because I, I like I say I, I, we're teaching you all real business and you all 
won't pay. <laughs> it won't pay. Won't pay for somebody teaching real business. And you, the real. This is the thing that gets me. The the people who do the real business, the, the tried and true. I I mean, businesses that's been around for hundreds of years, and you know how the money is made. You and you can you can sleep. Knowing you 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 doing something honest and you doing a, you putting an honest product out there, people won't pay for that. They will not pay for that that, that type of mess. But they ain't gonna pay uh, uh, some uh, some flim flam artist fifty thousand dollars to find out how he he's scamming people. And I I, I just it, <laughs> and it, it, I just I just can't I can't I, I just can't do it. I just don't see how they. How, how they able to continue doing that and hurting people? And they really hurting us. You know, you can't you can't go out and, and you can't go out and, and, and hit nobody else in the head for no uh, fifty thousand uh, dollars no, uh, for no uh, for and you don't you don't you don't tell them uh, you don't tell them anything. Just uh, you know, who wants to be rich? Raise your hand. You know, come here. You know, I, I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you the play. You know. <laughs> But they don't tell me anything about the investment, how the money has been made, and, and anything. What I expect to get from it, it's just gonna teach me how to bust somebody in the head. It, it's it's crazy. So I want to know what it is that you all want. I don't know what what else to do. Um, uh, I can show you all how to purchase real estate uh, at a below market value and um and uh, underserved neighborhood. And you all, the same thing, you all watching me do this and stuff. If you're going to do it, you got to do it the way I do it in order to get the same results I do. You can't stand on the sidelines. I ain't going to pay that. I ain't going to pay Mike Sneed nothing. I see what he's doing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip some, I'm going to skip uh, two or three steps and go ahead and do it this way. You're going to get yourself in trouble. I already heard from people getting themselves in trouble. Um, uh, going out, uh, Rent. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go start a uh, restaurant. I'm gonna start an ice cream parlor. Start a restaurant in an underserved neighborhood. Um, uh, and and um, I'm gonna rent a place out. And um, I'm gonna go that way. Don't consult with me for anything. I would tell you, you don't go there and rent <laughs> in no underserved neighborhood. That's not what I've done. I came out here and I bought. It's totally different when you buy in an underserved in an underserved neighborhood versus renting in an underserved neighborhood. Uh, it's totally different. Uh, it's a totally different ball game. Now you 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 got problems because now you got to generate enough sales to be able to make rent and all that other stuff <laughs> to pay that rent that's coming every other month, every month. Versus me, I'm not coming here looking to uh, oh uh, this apply, this ice cream parlor I got got to be generating all this money right out the gate because I got rent to pay. No, I I had a boatload of cash that I need to put somewhere. And so my my cash, I didn't want to set it in the bank. I uh, I I, uh, I I didn't want to take my cash and go buy no Lambo. I didn't want to take my cash and go buy no uh, no elaborate house. I wanted. I had a I had a, a boatload of cash I needed to put someplace. At the time, I'm getting a bunch of money off of the internet. I'm getting a bunch of money off the internet and stuff. And I want to make it so that I can continue getting that money even when the internet dries up. The internet's starting to dry up. So I want to make sure I can continue, continue getting that money. So I start looking for places to park that money so that once they, once they, uh, I don't care if they, uh, that's why I started letting this poor stuff go away. I don't care because I, 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 I took the cash and I generated, I took that cash and I generated something that, uh, that continues to give me what the, uh, course was giving me. Um, and I, I kept my money. So I, I say I'm, I'm gonna take the cash and go put it someplace. I came and I, I saw underserved uh, community. I saw a building. I can take that money, throw it into the, those buildings, and from those buildings, I what's we call? I build it up, and um, I continue getting my money regardless of what happens with YouTube, uh, regardless of what happened with the pandemic. I have and my money ain't going nowhere. So it, uh, instead of me having money sitting in the bank and giving me but, but less than less than a percent. Or so interest on there. I don't know how much interest the bank gives now. Maybe one percent, two percent. It should be less than a percent. But instead of it sitting there, I got my money sitting out here on these um on 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 this one twenty four, one twenty two Rayford. I got sitting in Rocky Mount. No, I got I got my money sitting there, and from there, um, I, my money is still there. Whenever I want to go get it, I can go get my money anytime. 
And on top of that, it's generating cash for me. So do I, uh, I don't necessarily need the ice cream parlor to actually perform. And so if you come out here broke and you're going to, I can tell you all, uh, ice cream parlor is something you do when you're broke. So if you come out here broke and think you're going to do this, it don't work like that. You got to go learn to trade or you better have uh, uh, some type of cash flow coming in to actually sustain it. So you can uh, can follow what I've done. But that's what, that's what I've done. I ain't go out here and take out no loan for this mess. I paid cash for it. I, I, I fixed it myself. Same thing over in Rocky Mountain. I didn't go take no loan out for that. I paid cash for it. I'm fixing it myself. And, and you got we got to be real with us. If, if we're gonna if we're gonna make this thing work, we got to be real and honest. We, it, all this stuff that we're 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 doing and trying to do, we got to stop it. And we uh, and, and, and the people who who are doing this, be, at least be at least be uh, do something with the money. I'm not seeing anything getting done with the money. No, uh, no, I don't see anything getting done with all the money that comes through there. Um, no jobs getting created in our community. Uh, no businesses getting created. All the businesses is just more ways to try to get you to sign up, get the people who watching on YouTube to sign up on more more of these. I call, I call them the new student loans. Getting them, getting you to sign up on that. I don't see any of these places that. We we can go and then if they do go start a restaurant it's crazy they go they uh i look at the people in atlanta and all that building these, they don't they don't go buy the buildings and stuff they go and they you'll go some place and pay all this money rent uh, uh, rehabbing and refurbishing the person buildings and stuff um and, and then less than a year later they they out the restaurant they have done all these upgrades and put a new heating system new plumbing <laughs> New light fixtures, you got all of this stuff. Uh, they re renovated this this person's uh, property, and they and then they gone in a year or two because they ain't got enough capital or they ain't got enough business acumen to make it work. And, but we we don't look at it like that. And instead of them buying, the, if you buy if you buy the building, now you got time to to get that thing right. And every every day you get equity in that thing. And no, if, if Hey, if you if you need to, to skate one or two months on the rent, hey, it's yours. It's paid for. You can skate on the rent one or two months to, to, to build it up. Um, but you no, know, if you if you if you hit a hot, you get you hit a a, a bad spot and you rent that building, you're in trouble. You're gonna be pulling from your from your personal um, household to go pay the mess. So when you see me doing this, it's a reason. I tell you, you gotta have cash. Now, if you don't have no cash, you better go get you an ice cream cart and and and, uh, and go out there and start trying to do it. Or you take the appliance boot camp. You take appliance boot camp, you'll make $100,000 repairing appliances or installing appliances. You're learning a real trade, a real skilled trade. It's not something I'm just signing you up to get your money and stuff. It's something that's going to make you money. This how, how I've done all of this is through appliance repair. Appliance repair done all of this for me. And I want you all to do the same thing. Don't let people run you up on this talk game and stuff like that. Please don't don't sign up on it. Don't sign up on it. I'm 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 honest. If you're gonna pay somebody twenty, thirty thousand dollars, and they don't have a building, a, a school, or anything, all they got is they're gonna give you they get all they got. All they got is a cell phone. All they got is a cell phone, and they're gonna and you you're gonna pay them twenty thousand dollars. And you, you ain't seen no results of anything that they've done. Come on, get serious. You're not going to do it. You got to get serious. It's not going it's, it's to not gonna work. I had to tell somebody that. Uh, somebody wanted to uh, wanted to uh, buy the ice cream. They, I was telling them they need to do the uh, ice cream parlor. Uh, uh, they they want to do the ice cream parlor. Again. And I I asked them what, what was their plan, and their thing was they wanted to uh, go buy a piece of property and put a storage unit on and all that. I was like, uh, you got, uh, you know how much that, uh, you got to have some cash. You know, you ain't going to just uh, walk in there and just, uh, and, and the property you got to buy, you ain't get no financing on because it's going to be under distress. Most of the time, the bank ain't winning no money on. Oh, yeah, we good. I, I, I'll be able to do it. It'll be good. But then, okay. To get that, it's gonna be five hundred dollars. So I do that on a payment plan. How in the hell are you gonna 
if you gonna if you gonna go out here and buy a piece of property, renovate it, and throw a shipping container on, but you ain't got five hundred dollars to, to pay for. You gotta you gotta put a five hundred dollar thing on payment plan. It, 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 you can't do it thinking it's just gonna work out. It's not gonna work out. You need to go get you a ice cream cart and 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 go out here and start doing some of these events, doing a doing a uh, doing uh, farmers markets and stuff like that to get your money up. Why are you gonna why, why are you gonna even try to worry yourself on something that you know you can't do right now? You you not you're not able to do that right now. Right now you gotta get an ice cream cart. But we don't want to hear that. We want to hear oh I'm gonna um uh, I'm gonna make a uh, hundred thousand dollars doing stock options. You ain't got enough money. To, you ain't made a hundred thousand dollars in your life. And you ain't got enough money to throw into the stock market, stock options to make a hundred thousand dollars. But you're gonna do that, and you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay twenty thousand. You ain't got them. You're gonna. You, you're gonna. You're gonna borrow twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars to go pay these people to teach you this. Same thing. You're gonna pay somebody uh, fifty thousand dollars to be your mentor. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, you, you don't. You don't pay nobody to be your mentor. Your mentor come free. Your mentor is somebody who sees something in you and they deposit into you free of charge. Now, you pay $50,000 for some consulting. But if, you, if you ain't got no business and you don't even know what you want to do, how are you going to go pay for consulting? You don't know anything. You, you don't have a, if you don't know any, you don't have no business at all, how am I going to consult you on business? And Lord knows if I don't, if I, if I don't do the business that you do, I'm going to give you some consulting on that business. Somebody right now came to me. Hey, can you help me with trucking? I don't know anything about damn trucking. I'm going to consult you. You need to go talk to somebody who runs a, a trucking business. If you want to come talk to me about uh, about uh, horse racing or something. I don't know anything about horse racing. You need to talk to somebody who's into the horse racing and where the money is made. I don't know. So that, that's the stuff. That, now, if you want to talk to me about uh, appliance repair, I can tell you all about appliance repair it, it, up to a certain amount. Now, if you're somebody who want to have 5, 10, 12 employees, I'm not the man you need to talk to. I've never done that. So you need to go talk to somebody who has those employees. But you got uh, two or less, yeah, I can, I can, we can talk about that. I can tell you how to do that all day long. You know, but if you want to 10, 10 or 12, you got to go somewhere else. Same thing. If you want to talk to uh Talk to me about ice cream. I, I can talk to you uh, about ice cream to up to a certain amount. You know, uh, I've, 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 I've got a, a, a lot of my information comes from uh, Jeff Marco. He had 25 years about his business plan. That's what I say. I, I didn't know uh, how it worked. I went to somebody who done it 25 years. And for that, that was for $1,500. You don't want no $30,000. You want no $50,000. Uh, for me to go there and get that information from Jeff, Jeff, it cost me fifteen hundred dollars to go get that information for Jeff. And shit, I, I, I no, I, I, I make that in fifth. Uh, I, 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 from for fifteen hundred dollars for from somebody who runs a real business, I paid fifteen hundred dollars to go there. Um, fifteen hundred dollars for somebody who runs a real business. Uh, I was able to uh, to to. To, to make over a hundred thousand in a year, you know, uh, with that information that he gave me. Same thing. You all don't pay five hundred dollars. Y'all get that in an hour almost from from me as an uh, entrepreneur in the business owner. But then y'all go and y'all y'all pay these people all this money, and then you ain't got no money to do anything. Uh, the, the saddest thing I heard was this past uh, this past uh, this past actual uh, class we had boot camp. And one of the guys in here told me, you no, know, one of his mans had done that. I caught up on that. Thinking about killing himself because he didn't see no way out to pay the money and stuff. And he, he was thinking about killing himself behind that mess. People don't see that. And we just don't care. It, 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 when we got to the point now, all we're talking about is just getting the bag and just uh, just hurting people. So what, what is, if you want to come on to talk, I'm going to uh, invite you on. I'm going to put the link right here. I just want to know what is it that we want as, as a people. Um, I, I don't. I don't understand what is it that we want. Uh, has it, uh, that's the link right there. You can click the link to get in. What is it that we want? Do we 
do, do we really want real businesses or, or do we or do we do we just want some fast money ain't no no fast money don't uh don't last you're gonna you know you you trying to get rich quick you're gonna get yourself in trouble it's just gonna last you're gonna do do crazy stuff you know but if, if, if that's the case and stuff i'm not the person for to get rich quick uh, Steve. you know what you're looking at is where it normally happens you know, most of the time, they said most men don't become millionaires until their 40s and 50s. I'm 50. <laughs> so I, that's where I'm hitting. I, it, 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 and if you follow the steps, that's where it normally goes. And, I, and I'll tell you, don't, don't, don't believe these people who are telling you all this stuff. I'm telling you, don't believe it. The smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. You pull back the covers. I, I know. I know. You pull back the covers. They, they they don't have it. They don't have it. And that's not me being jealous um, uh, about it or anything like that. It's just the fact that I know we're not we're not no a lot of not not saying this stuff to to uh, to people behind the scenes and stuff. Um, I know that they don't have a house. They living in apartments. And you start talking. Um, you got you got to be real. You start hearing the conversations that people are saying. You know. Um, I'm 60 years old, and I'm gonna go get me a 20 year old woman. And I'm gonna have some babies. Come on, <laughs> where, where that? Where that? Come on, man. That ain't. I'm 50, and I know I ain't going to get no 20, 20 some year old. After talking, um, uh, after talking to, um, spending spending a couple of minutes with my daughters and her friends, or my nieces and her friends, I know dog. We all want to talk to no 20 some year old girl. <laughs> ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. And you think, oh, um, I'm, 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 I'm 50, damn near 40 some years old. I'm going to have some kids. That ain't going to happen if you, you some lady. Uh, it's slim to, slim chances you are, especially if you're not married. Uh, uh, you know, if you uh, stop letting them fool you all like this. Their, where their life is, we, we have not seen, we have, I gotta be careful. Have we seen their life progress at all? Oh, is it? Is, are, are they just scrambling for something to do and, and keep something in front of you all? We haven't. We have not seen them say, "Okay, I, I went out. I make all this money, but I don't have no no physical place I can show you. Um, I'm doing all these projects, but I, I don't never see you out at your projects doing." doing any of that stuff um uh if, if you're making a million dollars uh you if you make making five hundred thousand to a million dollars a year um you know and that's a lot of money you know that's a lot of money and you're doing stuff uh all the stuff that we you're supposed to be doing you out there developing projects uh, you're you out there developing um, buildings, you're developing towns, you, you're talking to the, 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 the movers and shakers of the town. We should see that. We should see that, hey, I see you with the Congress, I see you with this uh, with this politician, I see you with this uh, the business person, I'm seeing you with this person, I'm seeing you moving here. Uh, all of that stuff should be reflected in just your daily life. You couldn't, you, you're not going to be able to get away from it. People will tell you when they... Uh, when they come here, that we went for a call. If we walk outside, people tell you, hey, they, they know me. For the same, they, they, they could tell you, the people who have came here can tell you, yeah, they know me. Y'all see me walk out there. And y'all see me when I go out there, the people uh, in my community look looks to me uh, to do whatever I say I'm going to do. Y'all seen that. Now, here it is. Uh, we looking on YouTube. All the people looking for you is people on YouTube. We don't see we don't see people knocking on your door and saying, "Hey, whatever you do, I need you to do it." We don't, you know. I, I, I I'll be honest. I don't know if they're uh, if the people in that community even know even know really about them. All the people know about each other is the people on YouTube and stuff they they put out in front of, in front of everybody. You know. And uh, we we got to we got to get out of this. We got to make some real moves and stuff. We don't we don't got caught up into this 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 make this this make believe uh, fairy tale story, 
and it's, it's hurting us because what's happened, um, the real business is nobody want to do. And I keep begging them, man, y'all just do a real business. That's why I tell them behind the scenes, do a real business. Get away from them. They, 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 they gonna, they, they, these people don't, they, they, the, the house of cards is going to fall. It's going to fall. And, and if, if, when it falls, the people who really know how to do business, they're the ones that get be able to, to go forward. But right now, they, uh, you know, I, the money looks good and, and, um, and you, what's we call you, you get caught up thinking that you, uh, you want to do it too. But then you saw this behind the scenes, you realize they, they, if they do get the money, every, if I want to go cash in everything that I got, yeah, I, I could, I could, I could look the same way they look. But then when I start uh, looking at stuff behind the scenes, I find out they don't own anything. They don't own anything. They scrambling right now, trying to figure out how they're going to keep this gravy train moving. They don't own anything that, that's going to continue, continuously uh, generate them money. Um, uh, their money is coming. Uh, uh, it's coming from 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 uh, from you all. Uh, why y'all were paid to? Be, <laughs> that's not that. Why y'all were paid to get into? Uh, 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 paid it from to get into a, a, a morning millionaire club and this and that. And they don't run no business. They need to be paying you all. You all run a business every day. You all knows knows how to do that. You all making payroll. They ain't cut no payroll checks. They not. You all are doing that. You you all businesses is going to be thriving and running when this stuff uh, uh, drops out. You all are pro providing jobs for not only you but your families. You all are the ones because we don't see none of that. We don't see. I I don't I don't know. I mean, we don't see any of that. We don't we don't see anything in, in a, with, that says that you have a personal life outside of this. We don't. We, we don't see that from them, you know. We just don't see it. Everybody, all you gotta keep it off the internet. If if you're doing all this, you can't keep it off the internet. It's gonna it's gonna bleed over into it. That your family and stuff, people gonna see it. It's gonna bleed off into it. Even that they that your your family might your family and your friends and stuff they might not uh they might not come on YouTube. But when you start having events and stuff, they be there. They will be there. Somebody will see. I don't see them when I uh, <laughs> when I go. I, I don't see them. I don't see. Uh, I don't see wives. I don't. See, I, I, like I said, the saddest thing I saw. Uh, uh, saddest thing I ever saw. Um, twice I saw this. Um, but just recently, when I was, we was in Aruba, I saw a YouTuber. Uh, they were out there, and they had their tripod on the beach, and they had their cell phone, and they're setting it up. And they were uh, they were just taking all these pictures and all these poses right there on the beach by themselves. And I was like, I, I, I remember seeing them all, and I, I was like, okay, so I'll go over there, and um, um, my son and I would go over there. We talked to him and stuff, and um, and you know, and I, I realized then, man, this person don't have any, <laughs> this person don't really have no life, don't have no family, no no husband, no man, or nothing. It's just this YouTube. So I go back to my wife and my daughter and my son and we doing our thing. And I remember going out to eat. We sitting there at the restaurant eating. And I see this famous YouTuber. They got the camera. <laughs> they had the, they had the, they had the eating. Every time we went to, you no, know, you, Aruba, where we was at, it's, it's pretty small. So you, you know, you, you going to the, for the hotel, you going to run into everybody in that area. So every time we went out to eat or someplace that night, I would see them and all they doing and they, Taking the pictures by themselves, they ain't got nobody even holding camera. Taking the picture by themselves, taking all these pictures, and on the on you all on the other side, y'all looking at that, y'all thinking they living a the life. I'm looking at them, I said, man, they lonely. They ain't got no life. I saw the same thing when I was in Grand Cayman Islands. Got to be careful because people might pick up. I saw another famous YouTuber, famous person. Uh, they they pretty well to do, and they uh and I they they take all these pictures and. And they they put out they had this uh, this glamorous lifestyle and uh, by themselves by themselves and uh, I felt sorry felt sorry for it. I, those 
but I, those two I felt sorry for. And I seen I seen a, a male a YouTuber too when I was in a group by, by themselves. And um, that's not the life you want to live, you know. You know, you all saw, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, you know, sorry, when, what's it called, had the heart attack, and here he is, uh, about to die on camera. You know, for a lot of times, I thought he was dead. I thought he had, had another heart attack, but he on camera, and he done passed out for 15, 20 minutes, and people hollering and shouting, trying to, uh, give him, and he wakes up, and everybody thought he done died on camera. And he, nobody's at the house checking on him or anything. Who wants to live that life? Who wants to live that life? Nobody wants to live no life like that. We never see them interact with their friends and stuff like that, see them do anything with their family and stuff. Nobody wants that. So so I don't know what it is uh, that we all want, but I'm moving on, having having fun. I, I, I can continue to do my little classes and stuff. But if you don't buy it, I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. Now, if you don't buy the appliance boot camp, I don't care. That means I don't have to. Because I'll show you. When y'all are not in the appliance boot camp, this is my work area. So I come here, I work on my projects. So if y'all don't buy the appliance boot camp, I don't care. I can keep doing my little projects and stuff out here. Uh, uh, also, if if, if uh, you don't buy the ice cream, I don't care. I sell, I sell so much of it wholesale. It's ridiculous. So I, I, my life is good. I just don't want you all to get caught up on this mess and miss out. You know, like I said, these people, 50, 60 years old, still trying to uh, tell you what they're going to do. You ain't doing nothing at that age. Yeah, I'm 50, and I already know. I, only, I got less than 30 years here. Like, I probably got 30 years here. To start a business at 60, it takes you 10 or 15 years to figure it out. So now I'm going to be 60. I'm 60. I'm going to be 75 figuring it out. If you 56, you you 60. So I'm gonna be 60 years old trying to figure it out. It's retirement time. I'm retired. Where where I'm at right now, I'm just trying to maintain and enjoy. That's why I said uh, this. This uh, you'll get uh, starting starting this week. You'll start getting a lot more of the ice cream parlor build out. After I finish the ice cream parlor over at Rocky Mount, hey, I'm done. I ain't starting no more business for you all, <laughs> or myself, or nobody. That's gonna take me on out. I'm just, and y'all gonna see more of me doing what I like. Y'all gonna see, uh, um, y'all gonna see, see me out there, uh, fixing on my little truck and, and taking my little truck out to go do some trail rides and doing stuff like that. I got a, uh, I got a bobber motorcycle. I'm gonna bring that in this winter, uh, and, uh, and restore, uh, get that back up on the road. I'm just doing some fun stuff as a, as a retired 50 year old. You'll see me sometimes jump in the truck, go go out and do some service calls. I like, excuse me, I like doing that. You're gonna see me traveling with my wife. You're gonna see me doing stuff with my family. That's it. That's that's what my life consists of. I ain't this mess where I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna be doing all this big investing and stuff. It's not now. It's, it's past that for me. Right now, I gotta maintain what I have and get it over to the next generation. I can't go out here and, 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 and double down on stuff. Now, I ain't got that type of resources to make a mistake. You know, if, if I go out here now and make a bad move, I ain't got enough time and I don't have enough resources to get back even more. So I got to stay where I'm at. It took everything I got to get where I'm at. Ain't nobody, I ain't got nobody that can help me. You know, I don't have no, I don't have no inheritance coming. I already got what's coming to me. Um, my father died. He gave me two, uh, he gave me two, uh, two gold coins. That his um that his um, grandfather gave him. Uh, so that's all I got coming to me. So I got to make sure what I got, I got to hold on to. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make sure I got a house um, that can give each one of my kids for some rental property. You no, know, it ain't much, but I gotta make sure I, I got a house that I can give them. And I'm trying to give each one of them my ice cream parlor and say, hey, this I, I've done this. That you your 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 basic living you don't have to worry about, but you know y'all go build upon this. I got it where your basic living is taken care of. So now you go build upon what I gave. That's all I got right now to give because I I don't have anything. I started we started below behind. Now here you all started. Some of you all started where I started behind the eight ball, and here you all sixty years old. Go go pay this Negro a fifty thousand dollars. 
money. You will never make that money back in time. And y'all, y'all don't even have a place to live. Y'all are renting. Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to read this stuff, then I'm getting off of here. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, Spoken reviews. Uh, great. Will I be able to continue my payments, Mike? Yeah, you can continue your payments. Um, what I do, let me see how many payments you got left. I know you sent me a, uh, sent me an actual uh, email. What he's talking about, Teachable has some stuff going on with that thing. If you somebody needs to continue payments, I can see how many more you have left, and um, I can put you on a payment plan that way, or you can pay it all off. Um, but I, let me take that back. You, I prefer you to pay it all off. I don't want to keep running you know, payments. So uh, I, I have find out how much you got left, and I'll just send it to you, and you can just pay that all off. I'm not going to keep up no payments. I, 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 I scratch that. You can pay it all off, the remaining, uh, but I'm not going to run down the payments. Uh, Paul Brown, what's up, Mike and ABC? Hey, how you doing? 63 and Paula Rag, dude. What's, what's up, Mike and ABC family? Hey, what's going on? Uh, my app, what's up, Mike and ABC fam? What's going on, my app? Frank Evans, what's up, Mike? What's up, Frank? Uh, Mr. Mechanical, what's up, Mike? All right. Um, Preach Enterprise LLC, what's up, Mike and ABC family? Just did my first service call yesterday. Oh, man, congratulations. Made $170 in one hour and 30 minutes. Thanks for all the helpful input that you guys shared. Thanks, man. Congratulations. After that first service call, just continue doing it every day. You're gonna, uh, and remember, the pregame, you're going to get better and quicker. And that's how you make your money and get your raises. Then eventually, once you... Uh, get better at it, you can get your confidence up, you can then move over to uh, doing COD work. Good stuff. Uh, my app, Mike, I got to start working on gas appliances again. I need to watch that part of the course again. Commercial pl- commercial places have gas. Yeah, most, most of the commercial places are going to have gas. Gas is easier than electric. It's 20 times easier than electric, especially if you're going to be talking about commercial. You're going to talk about commercial. It's not going to be no uh, it's not going to be no uh, uh, no spark module, none of that stuff. Most of the time, they're going to have a standing pilot light. Um, or they're going to be a thermal couple or a, a thermal uh, thermal power. So you, you, the commercial 20 times easier, I think, than residential. But definitely once you know, let me let me get that straight. Because some of you all say, I ain't going to do no residential. I'm just going to jump straight to commercial. That's where the money at, chasing the dollars. You need to know the theory how the appliances work before you go to commercial. Once you know the theory how they work and you've been doing residential, that step to commercial is easy, uh, but you need to go there. Don't think you're going to uh, sidetrack, uh, sidestep uh, residential, go straight to commercial. You need to have a thorough working knowledge of how things work. Then you go to commercial. Quinn Hodge, hey, Mike and ABC fam. Hey, how you doing? And that's the thing, too. Um, I, I, if you're going out here doing commercial or stuff, you on your own unless you're looking at Mike Reed. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just learning out here how commercial work. Don't don't call me about no commercial job. I'm telling you that right now. If you want no commercial, you need to watch Mike Reed. And uh, I don't know if Mike might be having a class. I think, but you need to be doing that. Don't call me asking me how something works in commercial, how to build. I don't do it. I done told y'all. Uh, I don't. I don't do it. I, I'm just learning it myself, so I don't know. And uh, and uh, so uh, y'all, y'all, you you got to figure this one out. If you out here doing commercial, then you should have already been able to do you you don't you don't master residential. When I say master residential, I mean not only fixing the appliances, but the billing and the amount of hours and how, all you you know all of that business part of it too. So it's easy then to make the transition to commercial. You just you know you're gonna be billing two to uh, two hundred dollars an hour or whatever you're gonna bill. It's easy to do it. If you try to make a transition to commercial and you don't, you ask me how much to charge and this and that. Don't do it. You ain't ready for commercial. Stay in residential till you're comfortable enough business wise and technical wise to go. Um, other than that, I can't help you in no commercial. Uh, I'm telling you, I cannot help you in no commercial. I don't want to help you with no commercial because that's not what I've done. I'm I'm dabbling into commercial right now because I'm doing that for fun for me. Matter of fact, I got oh I got to do one this this week coming up. Uh, I got uh I won't be this week. I got railroad. I do it next week. I got another one coming up. Uh, I need to go ahead and get those parts. But no, don't call me asking me about nothing about no commercial. 
BK from the Rockies. What's up, family? All right. Um, Maurice, good evening, fam. Hey, how you doing, Maurice? Uh, DC and L. What's going on, Mike and ABC fam? What's happening? Uh, Greg B. Um, what's happening, Mike and ABC? What's happening? Ricky Johnson. What's up, ABC fam? Hey, how you doing? Uh, if you want to come to come on, that's the link to come on. We also got people watching from Old Fashioned Ice Cream. All right. Uh, DC and L. They want something for nothing, Mike. A lot are scared to get out there and get dirty. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's one of the things that um, I, 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 I do. You might see now I got some oil and stuff. I work. I'm working. Before I come on live, if I'm here, I'm doing some stuff at the shop, doing something. So I, I say I'm just going to come on the way I am. Because, uh, you know, I thought about doing all this other stuff. But then I go look at, I go look at these, uh, these other uh, YouTube channels where they're, they're talking about Cars, they're talking about what we're doing, repair and stuff, skill trade. They got they have a million they can put a video out two weeks from they put a video out. I can look at it, they put it out today, two weeks later, they have a couple of million views. I'll be like, why are we not doing we're doing the same thing? But <laughs> why we can't get any of that love. So I just said, forget it. Um, I'm no longer doing anything. Uh thinking uh can I get into the YouTube algorithm? Is this gonna go viral? I don't care about that, none of that stuff either. I'm just going to um, turn the camera on stuff that I like to do. You all can be a part of it. I'll make a little extra money on it. I am like, I don't care too much about this YouTube stuff anymore. Because the more, I, the more I peel it back and the more I see behind the scenes, the more of it makes me sick. The, the, the more it makes me sick. And um, so I, I, I don't want to, I, I, I don't want to be honest. I don't want to be considered a, a YouTube course creator. I don't. Um, I have a school. I'm not going to start just saying that I have a school uh, where you can, a physical school you can come to. Um, I have a physical business you can come to. I'm not no course creator. Okay, RE applies repair. People want the money, but they don't want to do the work. Yeah, that, that's always everybody want a position. They don't want the job. Um, DCNF applies. Put them on blast. Mic. Yeah, yeah. All that stuff going to come to a head. All of coming to a head. LV applies repair. Is there a affiliate program attached to a appliance boot camp? Yeah, through Teachable. If you uh you do Teachable and you want to sell appliance boot camp, uh, let me know and I can uh I can give you an affiliate link and uh, you get a percentage if you sell it. Yeah, um you have to. It's only through Teachable though. Stoker reviews. They scamming people. Mike just selling empty promises. Yeah, it, it's uh it, it's, it's it, I don't I don't know. I don't see how they do it. Uh, this applies for fair life is real is a real blessing. Yeah, it is. It is. Very. Hey, what's going on, Kamari? Uh, hey, uh, hey, Mike. Good to see you doing your thing. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I uh, thank you. Uh, if you hadn't already, check out the Financial Rebel. Uh, uh, he does a lot of great information. Uh, you, you, he, his dad used to be uh, accountant, a CPA, I think. Um, great information he put out. Check him out. Great stuff, uh, Kamari Ellis. Uh, Myron Webster, Mike, a thirsty man would drink poison if it's in a tea cup, and a broken man would go into debt if he feels there's a chance some people are uh, are just being misled. Wow, yeah, I, I like that one. I'm gonna remember that one. Yeah, yeah, they they are. They just man, it's just crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> there you go, uh, Tyran TV. You right, Mike, because I'm booked two weeks. Oh, this ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. I can tell people this, this, this right here. Uh, everybody, everybody, all no, everybody always says this about this time right here. I, I had this conversation with uh, one of my friends. Uh, they, 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 uh, American Home Shield got them on the uh, uh, got them. Now, Like I tell everybody, you gotta follow. You gotta do what I tell you to do. Um, you gotta do that five banking. American Home Shield knows that this is a slow period of time. All the third-party warranty companies know this is a slow period of time. They know there ain't no calls really they're going to be able to give you. Uh, so what they do, um, the last two weeks, when well, this happened two weeks ago, two weeks ago, uh, they got the thing, hey, I, I, it's slow. Why well, I'm not getting any calls? And you know what they told them? Well, your price too high. You need to come down. <laughs> they came down. So now they told me this week, man, they're gonna send us so much work. I um uh I we 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 booked out a week. 
I said, yeah, because the call volume will pick back up. It ain't because of uh, you knowing your prices. It's the call volume that will pick back up. So now the price, the, the call, the call volume is coming back through. But what happens? They know. Uh, I always say, you remember, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, God knows the movie, uh, the movie where the girls robbed the bank and whatnot. Uh, uh, set it off, set it off with Jada Pickett Smith. You know, she got to go see Nate. She, I'm doing bad, Nate. And Nate, Nate waiting on her. I said, that's the same thing. America Home Shield, they Nate, they know you're doing bad. And you're going to step in that, you know, you, they're going to ask you, you know, hey, can you cut these, knock these calls down? Give me a break on the price. Let me put you on flat rate. And you're going to be like Jada Pickett Smith. Nah, I ain't doing that. I said, blah, 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 blah. But they know pretty soon you're going to get in that car and say, hey, Nate, I'm doing bad. And they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna have you where they want you at. They're going to they're gonna do their do with you. They're going to sign you up on that flat rate because they know a lot of you all are not following the five bank accounts. They know you're going to be broke. Same thing like you all do. Y'all know a lot of times these single moms, and it's crazy. At the same time, it happens for our businesses, and it happens everywhere. A lot of you all know the school time coming back, and these single moms might not save no money for these kids' school clothes and, <laughs> and books and stuff, and you all got y'all funky 40, and y'all y'all waiting on her, and, and hey, here it go. And same, the same thing, y'all know uh, after Christmas they came, and they done spent all their money on Santa Claus and this and that, and, and they waiting for that tax money to hit, and y'all got y'all funky 40 waiting on them. That's the same thing, the appliance repair people, the third-party warranty companies, they know that. They know this is a slow period. They know at the beginning of the year it's a slow period, and they know they're going to be waiting on you because you, you, you just as bad as the NBA players. You ain't saving no money, so you're going to be there, and you're going to take the deal, and, and they say, you know, you wonder why you can't make no money. Uh, that's the, it's the same thing. But that's good to know that you 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 stood you stuck in there and you're two weeks out, man. I love that. Yep, it ain't going nowhere. It's never too late, uh, uh, financial rebel. Uh, yeah, it's never too late uh, to make a change, uh, especially if you're in an industry like this, like the appliance repair. You can uh, it's a it's a forgiving industry. You can come back in. You can start today and say, hey, I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna be a better a steward of uh, my money. I'm gonna be a better business owner, and you you can turn your appliance repair around. Now, uh, at some point in time, we have to start looking and say, hey, you know, I'm 65 years old. My back and my legs and stuff ain't where it used to be. Um, you know, uh, uh, I got to be careful because they might be looking tonight. Uh, I, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't bought a, I haven't got to a place where I can buy a house or anything. Um, uh, I, you know, you, you haven't done anything. You haven't done anything with your life. At some point in time, you have to pay for that. You know, you you're not gonna. I, I tell people this all the time. The same way you walked into the woods and and got into the middle of those woods, you're gonna have to turn around and walk your ass back out, and you're gonna have to see all that same stuff. This thing where you think that you're not gonna um you not you're gonna be able to do all this crazy stuff for 30, 40 years, and, and don't have to uh don't have to go back and and fix it, and you're just gonna you're just gonna pick up and start new. It don't work like that. All that shit that you've done to get get yourself in the woods, you're gonna see all that stuff when you turn around and walk your way back out the woods. Uh, so you, you if you don't went 30, 40 years of doing crazy stuff, when you go try to clean that stuff up, uh, it, it's hard. It's hard, especially if you don't let that stuff uh get root and 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 and, and, and uh, germinated two or three seasons. It's hard. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a and just like your yard. You know, if uh, uh, you got you got uh, if you got weeds in your yard, and um, and you don't put no emergence down, and you don't get treated and get them out, and they pop up, you might have a couple of dandelions this past spring, and they went away, and you say, oh man, these dandelions are are bad, they uh they uh they they gone now, I'm good. No, they're not gone. They just went dormant, and they're up under the ground, and they germinate, they getting twenty times stronger. So when they come back out, you ain't gonna have just one patch. You are gonna have your whole front yard full of dead. But that's the same thing with your life. I have, a, oh god, I gotta be careful. But I, I, I go at it. Uh, if he's listening, um, uh, if he's listening, this, this, this is something he needs to hear. I had a friend. He, he was telling me, 
man, I, I'm in a bad spot. Um, he, he was like, he, he had, he needed, he needed about five or six thousand dollars. He was in a bad spot. And he was like, I, I don't know why it is every time this year, about the same time, I'm getting the same spot. And do, but this is the worst it's ever been. I never needed this much money to, to get past. And um, and he was he was kind of upset because one of his one of his men told me he want he want from the he want from the loan it to him this time. <coughs> but that's what happens when um, when 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 you don't correct that problem. They call because it's gonna it's just like it's just like dandelions. Dandelions come out and and and, and flourish the same time every year. So every year this it's a season for dandelions to come. And they take over your yard, kill your grass, and all that. Same thing is bad stuff that you got bad habits and stuff you got in your life. Uh, they don't. They, it's just it's a season that they're there. They're not. They not might, might not be there the whole time. It's just a season that they're there that they're flourishing and doing well. And then they're gonna go dormant. And so what happened? We don't never go there and treat it and get it out the way. We just let it go dormant. And we say, oh God, it's over. With. No, uh, uh, no, uh, I, I, you no. Know, what they say, uh, 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 your blessing came and I don't pray the way this is. It's not, it's still there. And when it comes back next time, it's 20 times stronger. It's 20 times more. And it keeps getting worse and worse. Because pretty soon it's going to it's gonna um, be like the dandelion. It's just going to kill your whole yard. It's, gonna, it's just going to choke everything out. But that's what happened with, with him. If he don't get that thing straight, especially now in our later years, you got to get it straight. Because now people... I, I might be loan you money in my 20s and 30s, um, and you didn't pay it back. I, I I got time to make it up. But now at 50, I gotta be. I got now start thinking. I ain't got that many more working years, and I gotta hold my. I gotta hold what I got, cause I gotta hold for two people. You know, I gotta hold for me and my wife, and um, so I gotta make sure both of us are good. So now I gotta start being a little, a little closer to the chest of what goes out. Yeah, came from the bag. Came from the bag late in the game. Yeah, yeah, late in the game. You you got hold. Like I say, it's late in the game. Now we can't put the ball in the air. We got to start running the ball. And running back <laughs> better hold on to it. So you can't. You, can, you don't want to be. You don't, you do not want to be late in the game trying to figure this thing out. Ward off Brown. Our blessing, Mike and ABC fam. Will you be doing one more appliance boot camp before the year end? Looking forward to getting it in whenever you set the next one. Um, I don't know. I thought about it. Um, I thought about it. But usually, uh, 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 once we get into the uh, fourth quarter, a lot of people are getting into Santa Claus mode, and um, they're doing other things. I think we might do it at the beginning of the year because uh, uh, usually around the fourth quarter, everybody in Santa Claus mode, and I don't want nobody to be taking money from you know because they. They gotta go do Christmas and all that, and the money, the money get funny with it. Uh, so uh, usually, what I do, I do when the beginning of the year, and I tell them, um, you no, know, tell your, tell your family, do, do this for, get you this for Christmas. What's going on, Mike Reed, man? Uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, if you like, I say, if you want to know about uh, uh, commercial, you need to go watch Mike Reed. What's up, Mister O? Everybody wants to look sexy. Funny thing is, all these guys been exposed as frogs. I used to follow <laughs> ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, all of us, all of us were following them. All of us. Yeah, your Jay Morrison, brother Polite. <laughs> yeah, Tom Lopez, all these guys. Yeah, yeah, we. Uh, everybody used to follow them. Um, everybody used to follow them. And you can't, you can't do it for so long. A um, more applied services. Just recently pulled the trigger and started my own authority. We did three thousand in the first two business weeks. There you go. There are many great resources to get uh, get this done, folks. Uh, no down with uh, no drown with the corporation. All right, there you go. Congratulations, man. Way to go, Mister. What these guys specialize in is, is getting your emotions at an all-time high to part with your money, but they don't have any fulfillment. They just prosperity pimps. Yeah, they are. They are. Okay, Greg B. JT pocket watches be hard on them. YouTube, of course, Greg. Yeah, yeah, JT. Uh, I, I, I like JT pocket watches. I, I, I love what he's doing. Uh, I love what he's doing. Um, uh, yeah, he, he, he does. He says a lot of the stuff I would love to say. I, I love JT pocket watches. Uh, Mr. O, their business is getting you to spend your money 
Yeah, energy uh, vampire essentially. <laughs> yeah. My out. Look when things get tight next year. Um, all the easy money is gone. You will see um, uh, whose courses are real. We make money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you will see. But I, I think right now we got so many. We got people who are uh, uh, who, who don't know what real businesses are. They think that stuff is real, and they just trying to get. They trying to. They, they, they like jacking the bean stalks. They trying to just buy some lucky beans and get there. I don't know. Uh, Stoker reviews. Hey, you're right, Mr. Oh, they're all fake. Okay. Um, uh, they accept, uh, they accept value without giving any change. Yep. Uh, Stoker reviews. What's up? Uh, they networking. Uh, Greg B. Five banking account got the businesses uh, strong. I see why you have to put that tax account money elsewhere <laughs> because it's that oh well you be one of this. Yeah, yeah, that tax account you have to put that tax account someplace where you can't see it because otherwise you would definitely blow it. You would definitely blow it. I know Mike Sneed will. Um, Mike HVAC and appliance repair got me out of child support. Let me say I was and let me say I was behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got us all out. Um, uh, like I tell you all. Uh, Appliance repair, appliance repair got me out of that child support thing too, and got me to a point where my uh, daughter. I have a daughter um, before I got married, and it uh, it got me to the point where my daughter and I had a better relationship because what happened? It got me, it got it to where child support couldn't hurt me. Uh, nope, I, I got to a point where I'm still am. I'm bulletproof, but child support couldn't hurt me, and uh, and uh, I was uh, and it got to a point where I, I wanted to. Uh, matter of fact, my daughter got more after going through that mess than she did with child support. Because then uh, she actually had to come to me and we had to talk, we had a better relationship. So she got more and um, you want to be able to say that, you no, know, I pay for everything um, and, and your kids are good. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the Funky 40, yep, Funky 40. And <laughs> yeah, that's my song, if you haven't heard it. <laughs> uh, Evenly Yoke TV, hey, what's going on? Peace and blessings, brother Mike. Is cleaning oven doors a good service to offer as an appliance repair man? <laughs> oh yeah, if you if you want to, but I, <laughs> yeah, what he's talking about. Uh, if you start, I, I tell you, the best thing to do is just an appliance repair. Uh, that's where you, most of your money is at, and that's the best way to go. Then all the other stuff you can get into if you want. But after after you after you get there with one old lady, and you got to pull that door apart, and she's cleaning and scrubbing. You could have been gone 45 minutes ago. <laughs> You'd be like, nah, I don't want to clean no other doors. Because when they say clean it, they, 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 they ain't talking about let me just spray some Windex. They're going to they, they scrub and scrub and scrub. You know how that thing disassembled. You'd be waiting 45 minutes for them. Uh, the best thing to do for appliance repair, believe it or not, just do appliance repair. Uh, do, the, do, the, uh, do, the, uh, do the blueprint that we put out. That's the best way to go uh, to make the to make the most money. Now you have little things like that you can do with add on. But once you start doing the appliance repair, you find out you're not gonna have time. You, a lot of times, if you're a one man shop, you ain't got time to be doing driving cleaning. You ain't got time to be going back doing all this PM. Now, if you got several different technicians that you can do at a time slow down like this, when we got slow technicians, then you can go out and do those services. If you got uh, you got a bunch of techs, because now when it slows down. You know, um, if they're not doing training, you gotta have something to kind of fill their schedule up. So you can go out there then and do driveway cleaning, change smoke along, change uh, check water holes, and do preventive maintenance checks until things pick up. But if you're a one or two man shop, when it slows down like this, this is the time you go out and you spend time with family, you take vacations, you go fishing, you, know, you, you get your truck cleaned up and, and fixed. That's the time you, you rejuvenate. Uh, so uh, you wouldn't have time to do a lot of that stuff. Uh, you would just be repairing the plant. Okay, uh, Tyrant TV. Did my first cooktop tonight. Followed the blueprint went smooth. There you go. Congratulations. Yep. Yep. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, DCF exactly right. Uh, uh, probably better to just repair appliances. Uh, just repair ranges and drives. Yep, there you go. There you go. There you go. Hey, what's going on, Wild Will? They're going to stack your bread and make sure your uh, property going to be cheap. I hope so. I, I sure hope so. 
Uh, yo, Big Mike, they still haven't called me back. Yo, Big Mike, they still haven't called. Me. Who haven't called you back? Um, now I, I'll be honest. If you looking for um, you looking for YouTubers, uh, somebody call. A lot of them working. They not gonna. Uh, it's gonna be hard to get a YouTuber to call you back. Uh, you, you can send them an email and they get around to it. But uh, you have to think. A lot of times, if YouTubers are putting information out, they can put it out there and they expect you to uh, go grab it, uh, grab it yourself. Because most of us working and stuff, you know, they not they not running no Fortune 500 company where they're gonna get back to you like that. But if you look at uh, or, uh, 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 you're looking for some third party warranty company or, or somebody like that, uh, you gotta be consistent with the, those people. Um, um, oh, on a commercial company, uh, listen, uh, they networking. Uh, uh, Even the Yoke said, "Thanks, brother Mike and DCNF." Okay. Uh, Mike's lead on that commercial company. Oh, okay. Uh, they haven't called you back. Call them. Call them back. You no, know, it's it, you no. Know, uh, a lot of this stuff, you know, uh, Wild Williams, no. Uh, treat it just like you did with the third-party warranty company. Um, you you're not going to be able to just um, give them your number and uh, and uh, say call me back. They ain't going to do that. They got too much work to do. Uh, you, you got you're going to have to be persistent and, and, and reach out to them. It's kind of way. You know, uh, kind of like back in the days when we used to date. You know, uh, back in the days when we used to date, uh, there wasn't none of this stuff. Uh, swipe left, swipe right, and, you know, and and, and y'all hook up. You know, you had to get her number. You had to call. She would tell you a lot of times. She tell you don't call. She didn't want to talk to you, and you had to keep calling and being persistent. You know, <laughs> and, and, and keep going until you you, you you finally crack the code where you can actually get her to talk to you. Well, the same thing you got to do with the warranty company. Um, you got you got uh, you have to turn that instinct to hunt on again. When you go out there, and you got you got to make them. You got to sell yourself to them and get them. You know. Uh, so you yeah, you got to keep calling them up. Call them call them once a week and see and see what they're doing. Hey, I'm just checking in. This 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 this. That's the way you do it. You know, you, uh, you just don't take no. You know, uh, you just don't take no as an answer. You just don't wait on them. You got you got you got to be on the offense all the time. Um, but it's now a quarter after nine. That's longer than I wanted to be here. Um, so I'm getting ready to get out of here. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you hadn't already, click the link in the description. Sign up for a Plum Boot Camp. Matter, matter of fact, uh, let me let me let me stop that. Don't do that. What you do? Um, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Myron Golden, that's his name. Go to go find Myron Golden. He has an offer for fifty thousand dollars. And uh, what he'll do, uh, you can get into his mentorship program. Um, I think if you spend a hundred thousand, he'll teach you how to make a million. He's gonna ten x. So if what you do, go over there. I, I'm gonna see if I get the link to that. Uh, you go over to uh, Myron Golden. I think that's his name. And he, you can get, take out a hundred thousand dollar loan. And from that hundred thousand dollar loan, he's gonna show you how to 10x, and uh, and you make he'll show you how to make a million dollars. That's the that's what you all need to do. And let me tell you, it don't stop there. So you sign up for that hundred thousand dollar loan, um, you uh, you 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 can then uh, uh, meet him. He'll have it where you can meet him up at some place. I think I think uh, in Atlanta or uh, Texas or or maybe even Florida or someplace. You go meet him. And um, and what he'll do, he'll let you ride. He'll ride you around uh, around town in his Lamborghini or or his Bentley. You get to choose what you want to ride in. He'll ride you around town, and then um, um, he'll what you call. He'll let you get his private jet, and he'll take you and take you out on lunch uh, in his private jet, and bring you back and uh, drop you off, and then he gonna teach you how to take that hundred thousand dollar investment. And 10x and get a million dollars. Uh, so that's what I, I that's what I tell you all to do. Don't get into appliance repair. Appliance repair, you know, uh, people are pay five hundred dollars and made a hundred thousand or more a year. Uh, this this stuff ain't it ain't it ain't gonna be around. It's uh it's it's it's, it's it ain't it's, it's a scam. This appliance repair is a scam. Um, it ain't worth it. Ain't no money in it. You gonna look at my shirt. I got. Let me show you. Uh, look at my shirt. I, I got grease stains on my shirt. Uh, I got cuts all on my arms. I got ashy elbows. Uh, I got uh, 
I, I, I got uh, my hands. Look at my hands. My hands all got calluses on them. You don't want that. You go, uh, you go visit a young lady and you go uh, grab her hands or her leg. You rip her stockings with your hands like this. So you don't want this. What you want to do, like I say, um, uh, go go over to Myron Golden, sign up for uh, for his uh, hundred thousand dollar thing, or uh, if some, uh, you might be able to find one for fifty thousand. If you if you can find one for fifty thousand, that might be okay too. You just sign up for a fifty thousand dollar uh, mentorship, and uh, and what you're doing a mentorship that teach you how to uh, how to actually uh, uh, teach other people how to sign up for how you can go out and get other people to sign up under you for fifty thousand dollars and um, and it's, it's it's simple and easy and um, you be able to uh, wear nice suits you be able to go out to conferences and talk they give you a uh, they give you a nice plaque and um, for that and uh, like I say that's that's what you need to do. This stuff that I'm teaching is 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 this is old stuff. It don't look at my shirt. I got grease stains on my shirt. <laughs> you don't want this. Don't nobody want to be around that. Who wants to who wants to own some some building downtown? You no. Know, who wants to have? Uh, you don't want none of that stuff. Um, you want you want to go get that stuff that they're teaching. And um, there's plenty of them out there. Just uh, um, he has a whole slew of people that he don't put out there. You probably can give them at every price point. Uh, so go there, jump on that, uh, and I'm tell, telling you, um, uh, he he have what you're looking for, and get that. And 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 you no, know, don't worry about how you're gonna pay the hundred thousand dollars back. Don't worry about it. you're gonna make a million dollars, so it'd be easy to make a hundred thousand dollars. He said he's gonna show you how to ten x that hundred thousand that you give him, and um, and that's where I say go, go do that. Don't worry about the appliance repair. <clears throat> don't worry about no ice cream. Uh, don't worry about no uh, food and stuff. And, and and try to become a life coach. That's what you need to do. Life coaching is the, is the new thing that we need. We need that, especially in the African-American community. We need more life coaches. So go there and find out how you can become a life coach. <clears throat> or you can become some business, business uh, coach or uh, or, or something like that, and, and, and start selling courses. That's what we need. We need more course creators. So once again, thank you all for watching, and uh, don't forget, course creation, life coaching is the way to go. Applies repair stuff. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.